This video will show how to do apportionment using Webster's method. So we're looking at our same county dividing its 175 teachers between its five high schools. So we have our schools with Owen, East, Lincoln, Laurel, and Dell that give us 4,875 students. And we saw our standard divisor was the 4,875 divided by one, or 175 teachers. When we found our standard quotas, we took each school's population and divided it by the standard divisor. Now we saw when we did Hamilton's method, if we looked at the minimum quotas, that only assigned 174 seats. So we've seen how do we adjust with Hamilton's method and Jefferson's method. Now we're looking at Webster's method. So for Webster's method, we're going to use standard rounding rules instead of the rounding down to the minimum. So I'm just gonna take off the minimum since we're no longer rounding down to the very minimum. So a neat function to use with Webster's is the round function in Excel. If we do equals round and then click on our standard quota and then comma zero, saying round to zero decimal places, this is going to round our standard quotas to the normal rounding value. So 31.4 is rounded down, 41.2 is rounded down, 43.07 is rounded down. So all these actually get rounded down. So these actually did round to the minimums, but that round function rounds to the correct rounding value. And when we sum them, they sum to 174, which isn't enough. So we need to find a modified divisor for Webster's that makes our quota sum to 175 using normal rounding. So let's just start playing with it. Um, let's maybe change our modified divisor to 27. And I'm going to adjust my standard quota cell so that now it's dividing by that modified divisor. And again, I'm using a lot of cell references with this because once I start changing my modified divisor, it's going to automatically change everything else in my spreadsheet and I don't have to keep redoing the calculations over and over. So I'm changing my quotas to be the population divided by my modified divisor, which I hit F4 to lock in the modified divisor so it doesn't change. So I'm going to drag that down so that all of these are being divided by the correct modified divisor. And then this round function is rounding each of them to the nearest number. So 32.4 is rounded down to 32, but now 42.59 is rounded up to 43. So you see it's rounding it based on standard rounding principles. And now it's assigning way too many seats. We're up to 180 seats, whereas we only have 175. So we went down way too far to get that 27. Right, so let's back it up. Let's maybe try 27.5. When we use 27.5 and hit enter, everything's going to change, which is the beauty of Excel, but we're still at 178 seats, so that number is too small. So let's try 27.8. So that's 174. This is not enough seats. That tells us this number is actually too big. So let's try 27.7. That's too many. So we saw 27.7 gave us too many seats, but 27.8 did not give us quite enough. So let's try 27.75, just right in the middle. And hey, that worked. So we see that in this case, Owen gets 32 teachers, East gets 41, Lincoln gets 43, Laurel gets 26, and Dell gets 33. So these modified divisors are a little bit of guess and check, but with Excel, it's pretty quick to change the different divisors and let the spreadsheet tabulate everything for us until we get the sum that we are looking for.